Hey everybody, this is Andrew. Um, coming at you with some holy crap. Um, though this time this is just a sound test, I'm actually going to be showing off how I used to play Minecraft, my single player world that I was working on before I joined uh, Polycraft. And um, there's really not much going on, it's pretty unimpressive compared to the kind of things that go on on the Polycraft server. Um, I can't really remember now how long I've been playing this map for. Probably a long time, but as you can see, I really don't. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's really beautiful, isn't it? My humble home. Um, this is uh, all the records I had. Uh, I was pretty, you know, I liked it. I thought that looked, you know, cool. And uh, my cramped living quarters, my enchantment area. And uh, I used to organize things uh, pretty generally. It's not that much to go around when you're only one person. But, you know. Uh, this is also on normal, not on hard, so uh, not quite as challenging as playing it in the Polycraft server. Yeah, that's, that's better than no armor, I guess. Looting one, sharpness one, power one. This was, this is me, the height of my power in single player world. The power one bow. I guess, yeah, I just, monster, you know, spawner traps, XP, experience farms, were a uh, foreign concept to me. Not, not totally foreign, but not my style. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, this is the thing I'm probably the most proud of is just my minecart switch here. Uh, it's a three-way transfer point. Let's see, I think if you do it forward, you go up and over the other rail, and you go down, and this goes way out there to, I don't know, the wilderness. I don't think there's really anything out there uh, in terms of buildings. It's just, it's just a long rail line that goes really fast and goes for a while. Um, I guess technically this isn't a Polycraft video because I'm not playing on the Polycraft server, so this is just a Fuzzy Fractal 42 video, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Oh, actually, in order to demonstrate, just gonna turn that off. And I think it's funny now that I did, did it like this, where it's all going up. I was, I saw something on the internet the other day of, you know, the same concept pretty much, but, you know, with tunnels underground. It would have been so much easier. Why didn't I do that? Uh, why did I build things in the air instead of just tunneling? It would have saved a lot of time and energy. So, uh, there's a village out here. That, oh man, I just totally forgot about what a mess I've made of this village. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's like some kind of death camp or something. I don't know, some, something faceless. Insert something faceless there. Um, Yeah, this is a mess. I got a lot of villagers. <laughs> yeah, there's some caves down here. I kept losing villagers into the caves. Oh, there's still some in there. Just hanging out. Oh, they're all gone now. We finally got them all out of there. That was frustrating. Yeah, it's just... I don't... Yeah. I have no eye for beauty. I just wanted lots of villagers. Um, what was I trying to do with this button? I don't know, but I don't think it does anything. I think it was that was the last thing I was probably working on before quitting this map. Not quitting. Yeah, quitting pretty much. Um. And so the rail up here does the same thing. If you switch the switch forward, you can go to the left. And if you switch it back, you go to the right. And it doesn't affect the switches coming from the other direction. So it took me forever. I mean, it seems so basic to me now, but um, I guess I'm not too right. It took me a while to work it out to make it actually work right. 
Um, you can imagine how exciting that must be. Anyway, um, I'm sure they could think of something else to show you, but no, I really can't. So, that's my humble home in my pre polycraft uh, single player world. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.